Welcome back. In our Health Watch, yesterday, February 4th, was World Cancer Day. Nearly 2 million Americans are expected to be diagnosed with cancer just this year, at least according to the American Cancer Society. And a substantial amount of those cancers can be prevented. So joining us now is Dr. Kayla Griffith, a breast care specialist at Rose Medical Center. Dr. Griffith, thank you for joining us. Appreciate that. Thanks for that. having me. Of course, of course. So we always talk about, you know, early detection. We always talk about that. But give us a reminder, how important is early detection? You know, the difference between early detection and advanced stage cancer diagnosis is it's completely game changing, right? You go from something even, you know, so I specialize in breast cancer, so I can speak directly on breast cancer, but it really kind of spans the board of all cancers. If you can catch a cancer early when it's in a stage one, you know, small early, then you're treatable. You yeah. know, 99%, close to 100% cure rates versus things that are caught much later, you know, a year or two maybe after the cancer's already been there with a colon cancer, a breast cancer, any kind of cancer. Yeah. You know, you're looking at chemotherapy just to try to save your life, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. um, so, I mean, you really just, you go back to how do you live the rest of life after that. Exactly, you know? so important to get yeah. detected for sure. So what is World Cancer Day and how has it impacted patients? World Cancer Day is huge. I, you know, I, you can go on social media anywhere now and just see the stories, and, and that is what I love about our patients on our, our Instagram and social media platform is just they're celebrating a day that, one, was horrific for them, some of them the day of their diagnosis, some of them the day of their cure, um, but and how it's impacted and changed their lives because now we've been able to do so much for so many people that, you know, what was once a death sentence isn't always a death sentence for people. Mm -hmm. And it's a view of World Cancer Day can now be a place to think and really have a perspective on where we've come, yeah. where that individual has come and where we can go and, and look forward to the rest of the life and, and life outside of cancer now and life after yeah. cancer. Yeah, it certainly has changed quite a bit in the mm -hmm. past few years. What are some of the more urgent issues in cancer right now? Um, you know, I think really as far as um, a population goes, it's about how do you earlier detect an earlier screen and some of the biggest, um, I think, advancements that we've made really has been in our pre-viver community and doing genetic testing to try to catch people who are at higher risk of developing a cancer so then you can make decisions before you're at that place of all of a sudden, hey, I have a cancer, I didn't know I was at risk and now you can make huge changes just to help kind of prevent yourself from getting there surgically diet-wise, lifestyle changes. For sure, so. for sure. We only have a few seconds left, mm -hmm. but what are some stigmas about cancer you think we can overcome in the near future? Oh gosh, um, well, that cancer is a death sentence. It doesn't have to be anymore. Yeah. And, and there's a lot of, I think, general denial in the population of, well, if I don't go get checked, then I don't really have anything. Right. When actually the truth is, if, if we can get people into their doctors, their primary care physicians, um, to start really kind of doing the screening, the testing earlier, then, you know, yeah. it's a much more treatable situation. Yeah, if anything, I mean, this is a message to take care of your health. Yeah. Yeah, yeah for sure. All right, doctor, thank you so much for joining us. Appreciate that. Me. Yeah, of course.